Hi everybody, uh, uh, today I'm going to uh, uh, present to you about an uh, incident uh, uh, which has been uh, causing, uh, catching the world attention. Uh, it's uh, so called uh, the robbery of the century. I think you may be wondering as why uh, since we are involved in the death investigations uh, as why this robbery of the century is important uh, and why I am presenting this. Yes, there is a reason. One is it has got two important reasons for which I am presenting this uh, incident which happened in 2017. The first reason is that the sophistication of the robbery been carried out uh, by nearly around some 50 to 80 armed uh, gang members. That is the first reason. And the more important of all this, this particular incident has thought the investigators, the prosecutors and the so-called uh, the security agencies, the importance of DNA and more importantly, the importance of the DNA database for a country. To highlight its importance, I am presenting this to you this particular incident. Suspects uh, carried out this uh, Ciudad del Este uh, city of Paraguay, which is bordering uh, uh, Brazil, 
and it was uh, the federal police of Brazil were alerted and it was known to be carried out by Brazilian uh, gang member called First Capital Command Gang which is a known drug cartel gang in Brazil. So the federal police of Brazil were alerted and the federal police uh, raided a staging house means this is the house where usually the preparation for the crime had taken place. From this staging house, the uh, federal police of Brazil, they recovered around some 200 uh, pieces of evidence material. And thereafter, near the Ithiapul Lake, which is a, a lake bordering the uh, uh, city of uh, Parugia, so from where they used the boats to uh, escape, from there they recovered nearly around 100 pieces of evidences, and uh, where backpacks, the bulletproof vest, and some of the uh, shoes and some of the uh, belongings of the suspects were recovered and 100 pieces of evidence were recovered. And from there, from the procedure office and the vans and the trucks, abandoned vehicles, from there nearly around another 257 uh, pieces of evidences were uh, recovered and totally it was around some 456 57, sorry, 457 pieces of evidence uh, were recovered from all these uh, places where the crime has taken place from the Brazilian uh, federal police. So the uh, uh, Brazilian uh, authorities uh, had formed a team called uh, to assist uh, this particular uh, huge amounts of sample examination. So they formed into uh, three categories and one is the sampling team. Their duty was to collect all the samples, extract the DNA and process the DNA. And then they was to pass it on to the uh, laboratory benchmark team. And this laboratory benchmark team used to uh, cut those uh, DNAs and amplify those DNA. It was usually the uh, short term tandem repeats uh, technique was used. And uh, the amplification of those uh, uh, replicas were made of the DNA samples. And the raw data was transferred to the experts. And the experts used to examine and they used to write the reports. So this is how the uh, Brazilian authorities uh, formed uh, a team to handle exclusively the samples which were retrieved in from this uh, uh, famous uh, robbery of the century. So earlier, uh, within 14 days, uh, 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 they were able to recover nearly around 20 reference samples from nearly uh, 80 uh, evidence materials. By one month, they were able to retrieve nearly around some 200 evidence materials. And by the end of the year, nearly 580 samples, so-called reference samples, that means the DNA samples from 580 samples of DNA were retrieved from the whole of the crime scene related from the staging areas and at the area where it were inter intercepted at the Ethiopia Lake uh, uh, site. Or, the, or where the encounter took place and at the site or the procedure bank or the procedure security office. So nearly 580 samples of DNA were retrieved. Within 14 days uh, after uh, recovery of those uh, reference samples, the data was uploaded to the national database, uh, DNA database of the Brazil, which was formed in 2013. And to their surprise, nearly 11 suspects samples coincided with the database and out of these 11 suspects uh, few were killed at the encounter site near Ethiopia and India uh, site and uh, few were, we were arrested their samples uh, confirmed with those uh, evidence materials so that was uh, uh, that is uploading these uh, uh, reference samples into the DNA database confirmed 11 individuals who are involved in this particular uh, crime. Uh, eventually another 14 samples were uploaded into the DNA database and to their surprise one the samples which were collected from the staging house one of the samples matched with uh, another uh, uh, crime incident which happened in uh, 2017 in a, where an ATM was, ex uh, was exploded by the gang members. So that suspect was identified. Another samples which was retrieved from the staging house matched with one uh, suspect which be belonged to the notorious gang of uh, the capital command gang of Brazil who was a prime suspect in Gurulio's uh, airport uh, haste where nearly 28 uh, 
million uh, US dollar were uh, uh, raided and he was arrested. And another suspect and another profile which was retrieved from the staging house was matched with a recent uh, crime involving a Brink security agency where the cash uh, was uh, stolen. Three vans of the Brink security agency, the cash was stolen in 2019 and the suspects, uh, the sample retrieved from that particular crime scene, the, uh, it matched with those uh, the reference samples collected at the robbery of the century in uh, Sido Adil Aste. So, overall, most of the samples which were retrieved in the robbery of the century, their genetic profiles matched with those profiles which were in the database. And most of these suspects, the crime they were involved, which way back from 2014 to 2019. So, all those suspects who were involved in the crimes usually of bank robbery, theft, felonies and even murders and even in a prison break a police officer was murdered. Even that suspect, their samples exactly match with the samples retrieved at the robbery of the century that is in Puriyogaya Siddha Del Este in a Procedures Security Agency. So, by this particular collection of the evidence materials at the crime scene after the bank robbery. The DNA sample study of nearly 580 samples by a team of nearly around some 20 experts. And these samples when they were matched with the DNA database, the criminals were apprehended. So, in, at present, nearly 7 people have been convicted to the tune of 21 to 34 years for uh, theft, uh, for murder and for creating false document, vehicle theft and robbery and other suspects, nearly around some 70 suspects are awaiting the judgment. So, to conclude, it is very clear that the DNA samples is the evidence which can help in the conviction at the same time the establishment of the national debt dna database plays a very vital role in solving most of the crimes in the country so it from this particular incident so called robbery of the century has clearly taught us that DNA national database is very important for every country and because of the presence of a DNA national database in Brazil, a crime of that nature, of that sophistication was solved and the suspects were able to be led to a state of conviction is only through the DNA evidence. So, to conclude, I would like to say that those countries which they don't have the DNA national database, we should go for a uh, national database including my country, India, so that all the crimes which have been involved or which all the crimes which have taken place and all the DNA samples which have been collected from those crimes, if that has been matched with the reference samples, Definitely the crime can be solved and more importantly convictions can take place. This will be a greatest achievement in the criminal justice system. Hence, I appeal to all the country uh, across the world to establish a DNA national database. Thank you.